This is the 11th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and start off on SOT.net tonight. We've got a 7.3 magnitude earthquake off the west coast of northern Sumatra. Relatively shallow, 29.1 kilometers deep. Uh, no real um, tsunami warnings or anything like that. South Pole hits record high temperatures on Christmas Day. Uh, rare white, a rare white Christmas at the South Pole brought with it record breaking heat wave, at least for a day. The temperatures officially hit 9.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12.3 degrees Celsius about 3.50 p.m. on December 25th, according to the South Pole Station site's senior meteorologist. Well, that shattered the old record of 7.5 degrees Fahrenheit uh, set on December 27, 1978. And uh, as a lot of us have been noticing, uh, we just have been very unusually warm winter here uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, at least in the United States. Um, storms continue to rage in uh, Northern Europe and just goes on and on. Off the scale, smog grounds China flights. More than 150 flights to and from Beijing have been canceled or delayed as a thick cloud of acrid smog shrouded the city with U.S. figures saying the pollution was so bad it was off the scale. At least eight dead in Brazil, a uh, landslide in Brazil, and again a landslide triggered by torrential rains. Over to the watchers. Uh, tropical cyclone Heidi headed for northwestern Australia um, with a potentially damaging winds and flooding rain. Well, the landfall is expected in an area ne near Port Headland and Karatha. <laughs> the storm will disrupt shipping and port activity um, from the coast. Also, offshore oil and gas infrastructure could be affected. So we got another big storm coming up there, and that's about all new they have really going on. Over to the RSOE, uh, flooding in Brazil continues of course, uh, some jellyfish in New Zealand, snowstorm in Austria, that, that weather continues. A nuclear event in the state of New York, um, Indian Point Energy Center. Uh, they had a, a, a leak of slightly radioactive water. They had shut down uh, one of the reactors for repairs and that kind of thing. Uh, of course, they're saying no threat to the public. That is about all climate-wise I have tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff. Um, 4.4 just offshore of Fukushima, strongest intensity me measured around the plant. Um, so they're continuing to have the aftershocks uh, right there in the Fukushima Daiichi area. 5 billion becquerels of beta radiation in 10 liters of decontaminated water includes strontium and cesium. And if they call that decontaminated, that's just insane. Two M4 quakes 10 minutes apart hit just offshore Fukushima in the last two hours. One centered 27 kilometers from the plant. Uh, journalist interviews sickened Fukushima author. Eight teeth lost. Nails fell out. Going bald. And they have a video with that. Massive dead creature floating in Tokyo Bay. Uh, near where the radioactive ash has been dumped. And they are dumping and continue to dump. Um, it was a whale which drifted into Tokyo Bay. Part of it seems to be coming uh, cadaver. Any kind of uh, crazy. And that's about it I have for that tonight. Um, if you've noticed, I've lost the, the suit jacket. Uh, I watched a video by M MK um, yesterday. And he was basically talking about uh, getting back to the basics and that kind of thing. Um, thanks, MK. I appreciate it, bro. Um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks for all your support, and uh, I'll see you next time.